heard a cry out in the universe. My father's alive. I've never seen anything like this film in my entire life. I don't, I couldn't characterize it. I have no idea what to call it. It's huge, <laughs> it's action packed, it's, it's cosmic. small in yeah. scale, it's grand in scale. Yeah. For someone like me, like for an Indian woman, we've been like, completely ignored by this genre. And now it's like Ava just grabbed the genre and said, sorry, this is what's happening now. And it's so exciting. Everyone matters. Everything is possible, that there's infinite possibility within all of us. And it's just, it's beautiful. Cry. This is what the national bloodstream looks like and international. And to be able to see that right up there on the screen with our movie called A Wrinkle in Time, it's a gift in this moment. Based on a book that was out in the early 60s, it's endured for generations all over the world. And to put, have that put in my hands and say, okay, we want you to run with it and contemporize it, make it relevant for right now. What would that look like? Not just as a woman, but as a woman of color. You know, I love Avatar and I love Lord of the Rings. Um, I love Never Ending Story and all of these, these, these films that I used to see as a kid, told by men. So what do I like? Well, as a black woman, I want a picture of Maya Angelou in the back. And I want to change the school's name to be James Baldwin <laughs> Elementary School. These are the things I got to do and got to play with. And got to serve them up for kids of all ages. And um, it's just a blessing. <laughs>